Hey there nerds, Jimmy Palmquist here. I know it's been a minute, but I am back to go old man nerd on some news I got recently. Um, when the Fox announced that they were going to be releasing a TV show of Lethal Weapon, I was not a happy camper. I love the movie franchise. Sure, it dropped off in quality as we got to number three and four, but I was still a big fan. I think Joe Pesci was hilarious. Even Chris Rock in the fourth one was fine. If they wanted to make a fifth one, and they brought back Danny Glover and Mel Gibson, fine, geriatric style, cool, not a problem. I even enjoyed Rene Russo, have her come on board again. But when they announced the TV show on a network channel, I was frustrated because the writing and the characters and the comedy was one, rated R, but so dead on, I couldn't fathom how they were going to capture that magic again. Now, I wrote, or I, I did a video review that I loved the first season of Lethal Weapon. I thought Damon Wayans and Clay Crawford specifically were fantastic as Murtaugh and Riggs. I was shocked. I really didn't think they could pull it off. I didn't think anybody could capture the magic of Martin Riggs and enter Clayne Crawford to prove me wrong. He did fantastic. Loved his character. Loved the storyline. Love how they went deeper into his history with his wife and unborn child being killed. And yeah, that messes a man up. And it did. So we all know that that ended badly as far as Clayne Crawford and Damon Wayans not having great chemistry, even though they, they obviously are great actors because they faked it on screen very well, but they just did not get along in person. And supposedly there was a lot of things going on with Clayne Crawford on production as far as uh, bad environment, whatever, Fox fired him. I was not happy because, again, he embodied Martin Riggs. I thought he played him fantastic. I don't see how you could just whoop, move somebody new in. So, last year, deciding whether it's going to be, or I'm sorry, this past spring, whether it's going to be brought back or not, um, who they're going to have come in, even at one point, is Clay Crawford coming back? Nope. Going to bring in somebody new. Last second, we're going to renew it, and Sean William Scott's going to come in. Okay. That's an interesting choice. I enjoy Sean William Scott. Um, I know him of uh, Final Destination and American Pie days. Um, I thought he was great in The Goon. Let's see what he can do. And he obviously has played that sort of over-the-top crazy character. Let's see if he can play sort of the toned down, which at times I believe was what The Goon was, to be honest. Let's see if he can play more of the toned down. So watch the season opener. Um, I was really impressed. Yes, it was cheesy because they had to wrap up some goofiness in how Martin Riggs was gone now. And by cheesy, obviously, Damon Wayans had to emote that he liked this person. He did not like this person. He liked the character. And they did it in some cheesy ways. And they wrapped it up quickly so they could move on with a new character. I understand. That's the way it goes. But I was impressed with the storyline for Sean William Scott's character and how he is going to have his own emotional baggage, but it's completely different from Martin Riggs. Cool. Uh, now on the third episode, thoroughly enjoying this, really like how they don't jump into the same relationship between Martin Riggs and uh, Murtaugh. They've com not completely changed it, but they've changed it and they even kind of addressed it in that um, Murtaugh was trying to create that relationship, but it just wasn't going to be there. And then obviously Sean William Scott's character had no idea of what that relationship was, so he's not a part of that. So I really dig his character. I like the new feel. I like how they're going. I can't wait to see um, Thomas Lennon come in as Leo Getz. Uh, I thought he was a great character in the past two seasons. I want to see how he interacts now with some new blood. But the news that we got was that Murtaugh 
character, a la Damon Waynes, has decided that he's ending it, he's leaving at the end of the season. And the part that pissed me off was, then why didn't you just leave last year and have Martin Riggs stay on the show? You're messing with my show, man. A show I didn't think I was going to like, I thoroughly enjoyed. Obviously, it's doing well. And you go and announce this, Damon Waynes. I understand you're older. It's harder to do the stunts. You mentioned diabetic. What the hell, though, dude? I really feel like this is a ego thing that he had to win out. And now that he won out, he really didn't give a crap about the show. So he has no problem exiting the show. I can't fathom how Lethal Weapon is going to survive after this season, having changed characters frequently like that. I don't know if this is just a salary negotiation tactic or what have you. Um, obviously, you can have a tall, bald, black man stand in as a stunt double 99% of the time, shooting angles, all that sort of thing. Um, and I like Damon Wayans. I remember him from Beverly Hills Cop as his little cameo. Um, grew up with him in, in Living Color, a favorite character, Homie the Clown, Homie Don't Play That. Love Damon Wayans. Thoroughly enjoyed him in The Last Boy Scout, as dumb as that movie was nowadays. Doesn't hold up very well. But thoroughly enjoyed him in his career. But this one, it was like, come on! You are messing with my viewing habits. Not a happy camper. I don't know why he's doing this or why that decision came about with uh, Clayne Crawford, but not happy. Fix it. Keep my TV on the air.